It is so good to see open source blossoming. In a very exciting news, Hugging Face has now included tools or functions with their Hugging Chat platform. In this video, I will be showing you how you can use that quickly and easily and for free, of course. If you're looking for a chat GPT hosted platform where you can chat with open source models instead of open AI models, then Hugging Chat is one of the premier choice. All you need to do is to go to huggingface.co, sign up with your email account, log in, and then go to Hugging Chat and you'll be presented with this screen. Here, automatically, the model is selected as command for R+, which is um, really, really good for RAG and for tooling. I already have covered its RAG capabilities and a lot of other features in my other videos. So if you're interested, please search the channel. But if you want to do tooling on a hosted platform for with Hugging Chat, then just log in there and you'll be presented with this. And here, just over the top of these chat box you will see tools just click on tools and there are six tools available already there is web search which allows you to query the internet and do some retrieval augmented generation on retrieve content against the user query and this is hosted by hugging face itself then we have <clears throat> url fetcher so you just give it a url and it fetches the content from there again this is hugging chats internal tool and then there are a few uh, then there's a calculator which uh, a simple calculator for evaluating mathematical expressions this is again hugging chats internal tool and then rest of the three which includes document parser image generation and image editing they are hosted on zero gpu space so document parser it parses the content from pdf text csv json and various other formats whereas image generation generate images based on a given text prompt and then we have image editing that edit images based on a given text prompt. And also, um, this is a beta release of tools on Hugging Chat, by the, by the way, and it really opens up a wide range of new possibilities, allowing the model to determine when a tool is needed, which tool to use, and what arguments to pass via function calling. So, tools are only available on the default Hugging Chat model, by the way, uh, which is go here, command R. Plus because it is optimized for using tools and has performed well in all the tests which Hugging Chat has done. Also, it uses zero GPU spaces at endpoint. So if you want to build your own tool on the zero GPU space, you can build it and then you can ask Hugging Chat to add it. So if you want your tool uh, to be chosen for this, you there are a few uh, criterion. For example, a tool must be a zero GPU space then tool needs to be fast 25 second at max to ensure a good user experience also uh, you, the, your tool should be simple and fun so that's it let's uh, try to use it and see how it goes before that i'm just going to say um who is fahad mirza the ai youtuber let's see if it automatically searches the web about me There you go, it is generating it. I will let it run to show you the speed of it. So let's wait for it to come back. There you go, how nice it's that. You see, it has given very, very correct uh, information about me. And then you see, this is my own blog, fahadmirza.com, my LinkedIn profile. And of course, this is my Australian LinkedIn. Amazing, I also have a GitHub. So interestingly enough, it hasn't gone into my channel, but that is fine. And you see, this is a web search tool it has used. Cool. Okay, now let's ask it just who is Fahad Mirza. Let's see what it does this time because I haven't mentioned a YouTuber. And you see that this time it has pulled out two bits of results. One is the previous one and then second one is this another guy. Okay, and it has done the web search, of course, and it has also given us the sources. Okay, let's try out a mathematical one to see if it uses calculator or not. I am just giving it a mathematical expression here. So let's see how it goes. There you go. So answer is 20. and It has called the tool calculator. How good is that? Okay, let's try to generate an image. Um, generate an image of marigold. Let's see what it does here. 
there you go you see it has called the tool image generation and it has uh, created a beautiful um, image here now let's see if i can upload a file and edit the image so i'm just going to upload one of the images from my um, own repo and then i'm just going to maybe i'll just put in this beer and i'll say make this beer uh, i'll say red okay where is the beer yep there's the tool okay i'll say it again make this beer red okay so i think there is some issue here it is not really working so i'll just try it again i'm just going to first delete this image upload the file again maybe i'll give something else maybe i'll give this and where do i put okay i'll just say make the sunset blue okay so it seems that this tool is having issue that is fine what else is there i can also select and deselect which is good let me try to document uh, try the document parser i'm going to delete it let me select one pdf file from my system i'm just going to go with uh, a pdf file which is which has just my own personal data i'm just going to say is so let's see if it is able to do the rag with it let's wait for it you see it has already um used my information that is correct so it has passed my document very very correctly awesome stuff and now i have just uploaded a finance.csv it has a lot of csv dummy data about products their sales by countrywide let me ask it which product is the most popular uh in terms of maybe sales let's see if it is able to do the analysis there let's wait for it i don't think so it can do analytics but let's see you see it can parse the document but it cannot really um, do the analysis okay let's try to see uh, if it can fetch the url what is the subject of mixer.com let's see if it uses the this tool url fetcher there you go you see it says it couldn't do it error calling tool your features but it has given me the information i'm not sure if it has pulled it out from the web or it has still used the url fetcher and you might see these errors here and there because it's very very fresh i think just few hours old and if you go to their website in hugging chat you will see that people are reporting the issues but as usual hugging face is very very responsive they are fixing these issues on the fly so that's it guys let me know what do you think really impressed by it amazing amazing stuff from hugging face yet again if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching